Now, the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia and Ukraine have all stepped up their diplomatic engagements in the past week in a bid to try and de-escalate the tension surrounding the troop build-up along the border with Ukraine. But the renewed dialogue has not produced any tangible results so far. In the latest, the Russian President Vladimir Putin has made his very first public statements about the ongoing crisis saying that the West is actually deliberately creating a scenario of war and is ignoring the security concerns of Moscow. We Vladimir Putin was, of course, a referring to the security demands that Russia has put forth in front of the United States and its allies. But the United States has responded, and Russia has yet to reply back to Washington's proposals. We know that the United States has refused Moscow's main demand that NATO should roll back to the frontiers that it had back in 2008 and that NATO should not be expanding in the former Soviet states in Eastern Europe. Moscow has also demanded that NATO must give a guarantee that Ukraine will not be made a part of this military alliance led by the United States. Putin has further accused the United States of using Ukraine as a tool to achieve its real goal of containing Russia. The Putin's comments have come during a visit to the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, who is one of Vladimir Putin's few allies amongst NATO and EU leaders. But dialogue continues from all sides and also at different levels. The US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken on Tuesday spoke to his counterpart Sergei Lavrov and has urged Russia to immediately de-escalate tensions by withdrawing its troops. Meanwhile, the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson paid a visit to Kiev and met with President Volodymyr Zelensky. Both leaders echoed a similar message, urging Russia to step back and to choose a path of diplomacy. It goes without saying that a further Russian invasion of Ukraine would be a political disaster, a humanitarian disaster. In my view, it would also be for Russia for the world, a military disaster as well. Не буде, а буде, на жаль, трагедії, якщо почнеться потужна ескалація проти нашої держави. І тому я відверто говорю, що це не буде війна України з Росією, це буде війна в Європі повномасштабно, тому що ніхто не віддасть більше своїх територій і людей. Дякую. But despite the push for diplomacy, Western leaders have repeatedly warned Russia of severe consequences if it does decide to invade into Ukraine, including wide-ranging and damaging economic sanctions. Britain and the United States have said that they are looking at targeting people in Vladimir Putin's inner circle, including powerful business allies. For now, though, as Russian President Vladimir Putin has said, talks continue with the hope of finding a solution, despite it not being an easy negotiation to proceed with. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.